The world's most powerful supercomputer is currently owned by Google, but Tesla has a significantly more powerful computer. I believe they are now using to train neural networks for robots, for cars, and even for other things. However, there is a new supercomputer currently being built that will be 50 times faster than Tesla's supercomputer, 50 times faster. So why do they even need a supercomputer that will be that powerful? Well, the reason is this. The plan is to use it to simulate nuclear reactors and basically solve nuclear fusion. This really could happen very, very quickly. It's actually very possible that we could see nuclear fusion power plants as a result, nuclear rockets, nuclear, all kinds of things come about within the next few years because of this incredible new supercomputer that's capable of artificial intelligence. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. This is the future of the world. Isn't it? It's crazy where things are going at such incredible speed. I just want to say a big welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. The world's most powerful supercomputer, Aurora, is being set up in the United States to help scientists at the Argonne National Laboratory simulate new nuclear reactors that are more efficient and safer than their predecessors. Now keep in mind, the United States is the only country in the world that has actually solved nuclear fusion. There's a lot of confusion here. Germany makes, has made some strange claims recently. The truth is though, nuclear fusion, really the holy grail of nuclear fusion, and the only true solution is to have uh, fusion reactors that create more energy than you put in to create the fusion reaction. And that's never happened before until the United States solved this about the end of last year. However, that fusion reaction, it only created marginally more energy than what was put into it. And clearly we can come up with something much better than that. The US is already home to the world's fastest supercomputers as measured by top 500. These supercomputers can be tasked with a variety of computational roles. Last month, Interesting Engineering talked about how the Los Alamos National Laboratory, or the LANL, planned to use a supercomputer to check nuclear stockpiles for the US military. Aurora's planned role, though, is much greater than that. It's very different. It will actually create the future of the planet. And it wants to improve the process of nuclear fission inside reactors that currently supply one-fifth of the US electricity supply. It's believed that they could possibly increase the output of America's nuclear reactors by up to 50% if we find this how to do this using essentially the greatest computer that mankind has ever created. More importantly though, nuclear power supply accounts for nearly half of US carbon-free electricity as it looks to reduce carbon emissions. Of course, renewable energy we it's being built out in America at a very fast rate, particularly solar and wind. But if you add nuclear fusion, well, all of a sudden, America be, could be carbon free within a, only a matter of possibly five years. How powerful is the Aurora supercomputer? The ANL uses the Polaris supercomputer at for its simulations, a 44 petaflop machine that can complete 44 quadrillion calculations per second. On the other hand, Aurora is designed for more than two exaflops of computational capacity, allowing the machine to complete two quintillion calculations per second, meaning it's 50 times more powerful than the current computer. Although the system was expected to be operational by now, it's not yet. Manufacturing issues have delayed its completion. However, when ready, Aurora will displace Oak Ridge National Laboratory's frontier to become the fastest supercomputer in the world. What's really new with Aurora are both the scale of the simulations we're going to be able to do and the number of simulations, said Dylan Shaver, a nuclear engineer, at the press release. Currently, many scientists and engineers around the world are using quantum computers to simulate, uh, basically simulate all the possible outcomes of different ways of creating something within a very short space of time. So what would take scientists thousands, if not millions of years to do by hand and by a slow process of actual mechanically doing them, computers can now simulate them within months. But with this new supercomputer, that those months are gonna be turned into literally days. What will Aurora actually do? Shaver and his colleagues will use the computational ability of Aurora 
to take over the world. The United States plans on taking over China, Europe. Um, basically, it's going to be the greatest superpower in history and it will create a, a new era, a new dawn. It will be called World America. Now, I'm joking, of course. That won't, they won't be doing any such thing. But it will create an incredible amount of economic prosperity and possibly save us from the certain doom of global warming. The team intends to capture high-level details of processes inside the reactor core to make new reactor designs without carrying out expensive treatments or experiments. This will aid reactor builders in validating and licensing their designs in a much faster way than what was previously possible. In their simulations, the researchers will look at the whirls and the eddies of heat, also known as turbulence, around fuel pins to model the heat transfer properties of the reactor. Increasing turbulence helps heat transfer, but the process requires more energy. In sodium-cooled fast reactors, the turbulence can lead to the formulation of vortices, which are small whirlpools of heat that can compound and result in the vibration of fuel pins. The research team will use fluid dynamics along with the structural mechanics of the reactor and fuel performance in their simulations that will occur at the exascale. In other words, at an incredible speed that I think we couldn't previously even comprehend. Even now, my brain struggles to comprehend the speed that this supercomputer can form these simulations. The team will use Multi-Physics Object-Oriented Simulation Environment, or M-O-O-S-E, MOOSE for short, to make the modeling and simulation available to many researchers, the press release said. While MOOSE allows simulations to lead it much, much faster, Aurora's computational powers will enable it to be run alongside NEC-RS, a computational fluid dynamic solver allowing even the tiniest details to be simulated, providing the best possible outcome for how we can create more efficient nuclear fusion reactors. These small scale dynamics are really important to tease out because they compound together to give you the large scale behavior of the heat transport in the reactor. We have to get as fundamental as we can to make sure we get the best answers that we can. Now, the supercomputer in the United States, it won't just be used for nuclear fusion. Of course, it'll be used for a variety of other things as well, to be fair. Um, national security, it'll be used for, obviously, to create possible weapons. Um, but it'll also be used for other things as well, such as NASA's new solid-state battery technology, which is truly world-leading at this point in time. It seems remarkable what they've actually done. Um, considering their obvious failures with their space shuttles uh, over the last t decade, 10 to 20 years, haven't really gone very well. But in other areas, NASA are doing amazing things. However, they will have access to this supercomputer as well. This will speed up development, uh, potentially increase the speed at which many different American new technologies are developed and it will definitely give america an advantage over china i think china is building their own supercomputers though as well this is really a race to artificial intelligence who will get there first agi of course is still years away but this could happen much quicker than previously was thought what are your thoughts on this artificial general intelligence is obviously the holy grail it solves everything everything we need essentially to prevent global warming from destroying the planet. But if the wrong hands were to get a hold of artificial general intelligence, that could be obviously just completely disastrous. But let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Thank you for watching.